Hello friends, this video on periodic classification of elements part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 6. As I told, a modern periodic table has periods and groups. Let's understand the periods in detail. So horizontal rows of elements in a periodic table are called periods. Correct for example, this is one period, this is another period. And they have some properties of periods. For example, every period has a consecutive atomic number. For example, this is 11, this guy is 12, this guy is 13, 14, 15, like this, right? So the elements in this period will have consecutive atomic numbers. Also, the number of elements in the period is fixed by the maximum numbers of electrons which can have in the valence shell. For example, the first guy I have not written here, it is hydrogen and this is helium. So they have two. So the first is two, only two maximum elements can happen in the period. The second is eight, lithium, lithium one, it is eight. And then we have this guy, sodium, magnesium, this also has eight. This guy has 18, right? So that all depends the number of, uh, the number of uh, elements. The number of elements is nothing but the maximum number of electrons in the shells, the outermost shells. And all the elements in a group has same number of shells because they have similar electronic configurations. And the maximum number of electrons that can be accommodated in a shell depends on this formula. You know this formula, 2n square, where n is the number of shells. Correct? And it is the valence electron which will be the first, and it is the valence electron which decides which guy will be the first and which guy will be the last. For example, the one with the one valence electron will be the first, the one with the eight valence electron will be the last. Correct. Exception is the, the, the first one where helium has two. I mean, you can say that the one with uh, the one valence electron is the first and the one which has all the valence electron filled is the last. We'll <coughs> see this. First period, if you see, it has only two elements, hydrogen and helium. And it's called very short period. See the second guy, it has eight elements, lithium, beryllium, boron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine. This guy has eight, this guy has two. And it's also called a short one. Similarly, the third one, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, and chlorine organ, it also has eight, also called short. And then we have a long one, that is 18. This guy has 18. This guy also has 18, right? This guy has six, has 32. So it, it, it keeps increasing, I mean, there are seven only. So this guy has uh, the one which is found also. So that's the way it is. So you see that we have different periods. The first period is a very short period, then short and short. Then we have long and long, and then we have very long and very long again. So we have seven periods and and if you see, this all depends on the 2n square formula, right? It's 2, 8, 8, 18, 18, 32. Now let's see groups. These are all called groups. Because they have same chemical property. So if you see vertical columns in the periodic table are groups. And please note, they don't have a consecutive atomic number. If you see, it's 9, 17, 35. So they don't have consecutive atomic number as we have in periods. And they have same valence electron though. You see helium two electrons, sorry, one like my neon two electrons, argon two, or everything has two electron valence, eight, sorry. Very sorry, there's my exception here. This guy has two, but apart from these, all has eight valence electron. If you see here, every everybody has one valence electron. This guy is one, lithium is two, one. Sodium is 281, potassium is 281, uh, right? So you see, each and every guy has one valence electron. So here also, but helium is exception because helium's uh, cell is filled with two atoms. So, but apart from that, all are eight. Here also, if you see, it is 27, this 287, right? So all are seven. They have similar electron electronic configuration. 
they show similar physical and chemical property. That is the main reason why they are grouped together. The first, you can say, critical property. They have similar physical and chemical property. And the number of shells increase as we go down. If you see, this guy has one shell, this guy has two, this guy has three, this guy has four. So the number of shells increase as we go down. So position of hydrogen is told, right? Position, this guy is placed here because it has electronic configuration similar to ultra metal. And we know that electronic configuration is a critical uh, thing to arrange the element. So there is no confusion now where hydrogen should be, right? But actually, if you see, hydrogen is a non-metal, the greens one is a non-metal, and it is placed with a metal. Right? The hydrogen is placed with alkali, but the property of hydrogen is not similar to alkali because it's very small in size. You'll see the position of metals and non-metals here. So if you see here, all these are metals. All these are metals to this guy. Right, all these are metals. On everything on the left hand side is a metal. So most of them is a metal except this uh, guy. I mean, I can see like this. Yeah. All these guys are metal. Hydrogen and these guys are non-metal. Boron, silicon, germanium, arsenic, these are called metalloids, which has metal and non-metal property. But again, that's still debatable. Some people say they are metalloids, some people say they are metal, some people say they are non-metal. Again, we'll not debate here. I'm trying to say is everything on the left hand side. Uh, from this line which I taught is a metal and on this side is non-metal non-metal plus metalloid so we see there are very few number of non-metals and there are huge number of metals and please note we'll be covering only group 1, 2, 3, 4, 14, 15, 16, 17 only these groups will be covering in this class the other groups will but will not cover because they are little complex and they have different uh, little complex way of finding the electronic configurations. We will study those things in the higher classes but for this class we will study only these groups. Right? So group 1 has 1 valence electron, group 2 has 2, group 13 has 3 valence electron, 14 has 4, 15 has 5, 16 has 6, 17 has 7 and 18 has 8 valence electron. So we'll study all these groups only, right? So when I'm talking about the properties and all, I'm talking about only these groups in this class at least. Now let's study some trends in the modern periodic table. If you move from left to right, I'm talking about the trends for the periods now, not for the groups. I'll take the groups later. So I'm trying to find the trends in the periods, so I have to move from left to right. We see some variation in valence electron, atomic number, valency, size of atoms, metallic characters, chemical reactivity. And we also see uh, variations in nature of oxides when we move from left to right across the periods. Right? So we'll go through all of these one by one. The first is the valence electron for a particular uh, period. So what we see is on moving from left to right, the valence electron increased from 1 to 8. For example, if you see this guy has valence electron as 1 because EC is his electronic combination is 281, correct? This guy is we see is 282. So valence electron is 2 here. This guy, if you see, is 283. The valence electron is 3. Similarly, if you see the, the number is increasing by 1. If you take this period also, it is 1, it is 2, right? So the number of valence electron increased from 1 to 8. That's the behavior we see when you go from left to right. Right? There's a exception in case of my first period, this guy, it increased from 1 to 2 only. It doesn't go to 8. And please note, I'm this, this, uh, I'm talking about these, I'm talking about only the 8 groups which I have discussed to 1, 2, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Because if you take the middle groups, the, the properties are different, it is complex, right? We're not taking that. We'll take only these uh, groups and we're assuming that periodic table has only these groups and then we are talking about the trends. So this guy goes only till 2 and other goes till 8 only for those periods, those groups I have discussed. If you talk about atomic number, we observe that uh, when the elements have consumed atomic number, there's 11, this guy is 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, it, the list increases, right? So they have consecutive atomic numbers. 
if you talk about valency, if you see that the valency increased from one to four, and then decreased, right? So valency is uh, the extra electron which it can have or it it has or it can take, right? So the sodium has one extra electron, valency is one. Magnesium one two extra electron, aluminium three extra electron, silicon four extra electron, phosphorus needs one electron, three electron, right? So its valency is minus three. This guy is minus two. Minus one. So if you see, it started from one, increased till four, again went back to zero, because they are all uh, inert gas and they have valency of zero. So this is how the valency behaves from one to four, then it goes back to zero. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.